Hi, this is Joel Mayer. Here is a project to create paper mittens. Print the pattern of the mittens or trace it on construction paper of a color of your choice. To make a complete mitten, you must reproduce and cut out both sides of the mitten. Hold both sides of the mitten together with paper clips. Next, take a one hole punch and place both sides of the mitten exactly on top of each other. Make holes all along the mitten through the two layers of construction paper using the dots of the pattern. Cut a piece of knitting yarn or twine of about 3 feet or 1 meter long. Wrap scotch tape around one end of the yarn. When the end is wrapped in scotch tape, it becomes very easy to pass the yarn through the holes. Insert the tip of the yarn through the first hole and pull it until only a small piece of the yarn is left on the back of the mitten. Tie a knot with the yarn in the first hole to keep it in place. A first possibility is to thread the yarn up and down all along the edge of the mitten. This is a simple pattern that gives a nice result. When you have finished threading the yarn, tie a knot in the last hole. A second possibility is to always pass the yarn upwards in a spiral movement. In this case, you will need a longer piece of yarn. As in the first case, start by threading the yarn through the first hole and tie a knot in the first hole. Then, thread through the second hole from below and bring the yarn up again. Continue this spiral movement all along the mitten and tie a knot in the last hole. A third possibility is to start as in the second example and then come back in the opposite direction. This gives a zigzag effect on the side of the mitten. I chose to use only one color, but you could very well use two different colors. The children can also decorate the mittens with stickers, paint or glitter. When the mitten is completed, you can insert a Christmas cane or other surprises in it. I also prepared a 27-page document in which you will find 8 patterns with pre-writing exercises. This document contains two sizes of mittens of each design. You can decorate them and integrate visual art with pre-writing exercises. Here is one way to use the large mitten patterns. If you want to make a complete mitten as in the first example, print both sides of the mitten. Print the mitten patterns on white construction paper. Then cut out the mitten shapes. Take wax crayons and draw along the dotted lines. Now take diluted paint and spread it on both sides of the mitten. The wax crayon traces remain visible in spite of the paint. Let the paint dry and then proceed as in the first example. Align the two sides of the mitten, make holes and sew them together with yarn or twine. And here is a way to use the smaller version of the mittens. Print your favorite pattern, trace along the dotted lines and then color the mittens. When you are satisfied, cut out the mittens. With a one hole punch, make a hole in each mitten and tie them together to form the pair. You can then decorate a bulletin board with all the mittens of your students. In the document you will find a blank pattern that allows the children to decorate their pair of mittens using their creativity. To obtain the two documents accompanying this project, click on the link below the video.